Hello everybody and welcome to staffityourself.com. Today's tutorial I have got two little baby bibs that I have made. I've got two girlfriends that I um, have been told that are now expecting and I wanted to do a little congratulations card but then they're both surprising each other with well, I think they're going to surprise each other with um, baby showers. So I've been tasked to do the baby shower ones. Cards. So um, I was kind of mucking around and I ended up coming up with these designs. And I really like them because they look like little baby bibs. Hang on, let me see if I can get that in there. There we go. That opens up like a baby's bib. And um, basically, let me just see if I can... Oh. Okay, okay, can't get in, can't get out at the moment. So um, yes, that's this is the um, one using the, our little Easter lamb, and this one is using the bumblebee. Now I don't know if the bumble the bumblebee I don't think is available anymore from stamp it yourself dot well stamp it yourself stamping up I should say rather than stamp it yourself dot com because um, I've got everything that stamping up has got. So basically through my online store, you can certainly get the lamb. He's still available. She, he. Um, the bumblebee, I'm not sure. Very cute, but there are some other baby options that you can get. I have ordered myself. Um, there's a, um, a bundle when it's got the little baby onesies and little coat hangers, and it's also got the dies to actually cut them out. So that makes it um, a little bit more interesting to do too. So I be prepared to see some more baby stuff coming up so anyway but I did want to share these ones with you because they are cute they are like baby spibs and I think that really you know they're just so cute and they're really easy to make really easy to make so I will show you how to make it so it doesn't matter really what you put on the front here anything baby is going to be um, cute because of the way that it's sort of like is like a baby's bib so I do hope um, you give it a shot so I'll show you how to make one um, I've used this one I've obviously used um, whoop, let me get you back into focus and I've obviously used whoop, okay yeah. I've used our um, our something lacy stamp which is a big stamp is it something uh something lacy is that what it's called yeah something lacy it's a really big stamp it's a great background stamp you can use it there's so many background stamps so you're going to need that that is item number 138900, but I'll write this on my blog so you don't have to worry about it. I didn't put any sentiments on there because I didn't really want to take too much away from the baby big bib effect. So I left it basically like that. Of course, on the inside of your card, you are going to be able to write whatever you want or stick, you know, a piece of paper, cut it out using the, the um, dies that I used and then just stick it inside using a small circle or just a whatever it's just it's pretty easy handwrite it if you've got really good handwriting I don't okay um, so we're going to use something lacy um, background stamp which is here um, and we're going to be using these dies these are the circle circle dies um, obviously I have used the biggest one that in the pack um, to do the um, bib itself or the border itself or the size of it itself and then I've used the two now these don't have sizes written on them so um, when you're actually doing them you'll probably find that you know you'll you've got a preference you might want a bigger one these aren't the biggest ones let me see I put them away already here we go these are the framelits so you've got quite a few options there um, but I, I felt that these these two were quite appropriate in, in terms of sizing because you really want to keep the baby bib effect. Your sentiment, your little um, icon is going to look really cute, but you don't want it to take up too much space because you want to maintain that baby effect, the baby, um, sorry, the um, bib effect. All right, so I've used these, but as I said, they haven't got any um, size written on them, so just play it by ear. So once you've done your card, you do your card with this one. So you do this one first and then you use this one and this one. Now, I've already gone ahead and done this so that um, I don't hold up time. Let me get these guys out of the way 
a shame because they're really cute and it's nice to look at them while we're I can keep one just up for reference sticking his little head out and up got no sense of camera direction I've got no sense of direction full stop okay I have already gone ahead and done the baby lamb now this stamp is an east stamp technically now what you can do is when you stamp this on you don't have to put the whole stamp on uh, the um, when you get your blocks because you know when you buy wooden blocks well this one actually only comes in a wooden block and then you stick it on here yourself but what you should really do if you don't want to use east or you want to have it separate is just cut it off before you stick it on before you put any, any other mounting tape on uh, mounting foam on um, trim that off so that you can use just the lamb whenever you want to um, and I, I, I would just cut this off here the wording off here and just stick it on there so that when you go to use it you've got the wording there and you've got the lamb and you can use it whenever you want now in this particular instance I've already gone ahead and stuck mine down so what I do is I ink it up so basically I just go tap 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 ink it all up and then I just get a baby wipe and I just wipe across the bottom here very thoroughly wiping off the ink so there's nothing left absolutely nothing left and then I just stamp it down and it does work for me but um, there's a few ways that you can do that um, that's just a couple of them so when you do get um, images that you really like but they've got sentiments attached to them think about whether or not you can use that um, icon or that graphic um, on its own or you'll always use it with the words um, and sometimes it's worth considering separating them so that you can create two stamps out of the one really <laughs> they're very versatile but that's an option for that one um, so that's um, our eastern lamb um, and as I said he's cute for many many things other than just as uh, including Easter this is the bumblebee one but like I said it's no longer available which is really sad because it's such a cutie this has also got uh, a sentiment written on it I'll hold it up close for you little baby bumblebee and she is cute um, and again this has um, been used before obviously and been loved this again has got its sentiment but what I did again is I stamped it all up and I just used the baby wipe and wiped it off and if I'm not 100% sure that I've actually got all the ink off you can just put a um, post-it note like that over the actual sentiment and then stamp it down so again that's another one that you could think of is when you go to put the icon on do you really want the wording with it or do you want to treat it as a separate item and you can put your um your sentiment stuck on here on the same stamp so it still stays in the case so that is just a few tips for things like this these ones have always come in wood mount and they're just sort of like one-offs they're not in sets they're just a one-off item always really good though i love these ones okay so um let me see where was i yes so um yes doing the arc so i've already cut it out now this time i'm going to actually do it in smoky slate this one is in uh wisteria wonder i've done the the lace in wisteria wonder i've done the little lamb in wisteria wonder and i've got the backing in uh cardstock in wisteria wonder and of course the cardstock's all wisteria wonder this one here is um done in pink pirouette i've colored her in with pink pirouette and i've put some glitter on her wings if you can see that there to make her flutter she's so cute um and that's on white cardstock so um i did like that one i'm not sure which one i like the most so this one i'm going to do again differently i've got as i said i've got the smoky slate and i've got the smoky slate background so i'm going to use that and i think i might hmm, i'm trying to think i think i'll do my smoky slate background on this as well okay so what we need to do is you need to get your um, cardstock. You need, I'm going to use Whisper White and stamp in Smoky Slate. So you need a um, piece of cardstock. Uh, where am I going? Okay. Uh, the length of your cardstock is nine and a quarter inches. The width of your cardstock is five inches. And you're going to score it here. In the middle at four and five eighteenths of an inch and gosh I hope that made sense because I have to use this I have to use the stamp the stamping up and everything's in inches and I am just so challenged when it comes to inches and measurements and I'm really challenged thank goodness these people have really good tools all right so what you've done is once you've got that 
um, I'll put this this all on my blog so you can go and have a look at the instructions and take your time pause it if you need to and just take your time that's what I do with things that are very fiddly I just take my time and don't rush you've got plenty of time so um, that's always a big key all right so basically you need this size because what we want to do is we want to create the bib effect which is like this and so when you open your card you've actually got it still sealed so you're basically using the circle to create the card so with those dimensions you're going to get your scallop circle out of the circle dies out of the way and what you're going to do is you're going to this is your closed edge of the card so on the on the score you, you'll find that this will fit perfectly um, I've measured it perfectly like I said I do take my time with things <laughs> so if you measure this up and you'll see here there's a gap okay that gap is going to be the top of your card here so you want it like that when you run it through the die machine so the die machine is going to cut out the bib size and you're going to have that as your top of your card really easy as long as you use those dimensions that I gave you now I've run it when I run it through the um, big shot I do it a couple of times just to make sure because it is double cardstock um, and I'll just do that now so if you hang on you'll hear me in the background doing it I'll get out of the way and I'll do it very quickly but I did want to show you that technique so that you know what I'm talking about when I go to uh, when you go to do it yourself you will be able to um, sorry I'm just lining up my card now I can probably bring it here but I don't know if you can see it let me have a look Ooh, you might be able to see it okay so I don't know why my camera is just so oh you can tell I'm such a novice but I'm getting there all right I really don't know why it's doing what it's doing hang on maybe I just need to lift it a bit there we go try that Whew. okay so this is um a big shot and this is the top of the card which is here okay so we're going to close that down we're going to line up this on the very edges all even on this side this side and this side make sure it's right on the edge of the cardstock and you'll see up here there's a gap actually I'll turn it around for you and do it up this way so you can see it a little bit closer so there you go you're putting your circle there there and there okay this is really for the newbies because people who have done this sort of stuff before know what I'm talking about when when um but for some people haven't seen these things techniques before so you have to be fair and share it okay so you can see up there right there there's a little gap that's going to be the top of the card so I'm going to pop that through my big shot now as I said I'm going to do a couple of times just to make sure Ooh. I just got off the screen then hope you didn't anyway okay so get that out of the way and there you'll see here voila get that out of the way and plus I use the very um, thick thick cardstock as well the um, the nice whisper white really thick one um, yeah I just love it it's really good so it's a little bit thicker so it's good to always run it through but it does have staying power and rollability look at that <laughs> all right so basically that's my card okay what we want to do next is we want to stamp it now I'm going to stamp it in in smoky slate so we're just going to this background step is really, really nice. I love it. So ink up your lace stamp quite well. Make sure there's no fluff on it because sometimes when you clean it, depends how you clean it and what you clean it with, you can get a little bit of um, fluff and stuff on it and it will show on the delicate laced pattern. All right, so I'm stamping it up. I like to make sure they're nicely inked, just so we don't miss. Okay, oh, that looks a bit sus. What's that? Bop, bop, bop. Don't know how to 
make sure that's okay. All right, so you've got your helps when you're not using the same color, I suppose. So what you want to do is make sure that you're covering the whole stamp <laughs> before. Let's see. I'd have to stand up for this one, guys, just to make sure I cover it all. Yep, I think that's pretty good. Straight up and down. Bit of pressure. Ooh, you know you've got a lot of pressure when your card's not there. Ta-da! Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, my gosh, that is so beautiful. Wow. I like the grey. It's very serious, though, isn't it? a baby card but even so it's still really pretty okay so basically that's your card isn't that cute wow i really like that okay so now we've done it in gray oh my gosh isn't that cute i'm not sure which one i like now okay so this is the gray one this is what it's going to look like up close let me bring it up close for you uh, bring it back a bit Oop. I think my camera's on um, Friday night mode. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's lovely. Isn't that pretty? You could cover that in too, you know, if you wanted to. You could use a marker and just put a little bit of colour in the flowers and just make it like a Mayfair kind of look. But anyway, um, I might do that later. All right, so um, very quickly, all we need now is some dimensionals to pop up little lamby i did as i said i didn't put a sentiment on it because i did want it to stay with the bib theme so again it's a personal thing if you wanted to um, put something on it by all means go ahead okay put this in the middle and little lamby he is cute that little lamby he's got a lot of potential so okay put this in the middle there we go so a little bit of dimension and then a little bit of ribbon um, I think or even some cardstock I suppose I will try and tie some ribbon Ooh. It's a big bow. It's a big bow. Let's try and tie it off. Anyway, first of April today. And oh. you know what? I always cut at the wrong angle. I'm so silly. Now I'm going to end up cutting all my bow away. Anyway, doesn't matter. Okay, so this is just some wisp of white satin ribbon. I'm going to cut that back just a fraction. And we'll use some dimensionals. Oh, no, not dimensionals. Um, glue dots, I should say. The glue dots. Oh, my gosh. My bow just came undone. <laughs> Okay, hang on. I'll quickly retie it. Heaven forbid. Oh, come on now. Don't you be mean to me. I was doing so well. This has got to be my quickest card yet. Oh, alright. I'm going to like it. doesn't like me, so let me try another piece. And, oh, what a shame. I hate wasting my products. I don't know about you, but I hate wasting my products because they're so beautiful. They're not to be wasted, people. Not to be wasted. Okay, let's have a look. Alright. Okay. I am still here. <laughs> I am still here. You haven't lost me. I am doing the bow and 
we all know how they can be at times. Okay, so finally got the bow. Okay, so got our little bow. There we go. There's our little bow. It is kind of grey, but you know what? I'm thinking get your markers out, to be honest, and I would um, definitely look at doing some colouring in on those. Now, the good thing about doing this is my little um, sticky dots, I can use whatever colour I like. So I might use blue. Um, mm, mm, I think I'll go with my blue just to be different. I suppose you could use any colour when it's grey. There we go, like that. Now because it's kind of like, um, I'm just quickly grabbing a marker and I'm just looking now at to see there, yeah, that is really worth considering. I would, if you're going to use grey, get your markers out and go over um, some of this in colour. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the adult, well, not so much the adult colouring in books, but it just reminds me of colouring in because um, it's kind of like that. That's what it looks like in real life. It's like, and you know what? You could use this for a baby shower and have people colour it in, and the one that's the nicest coloured in wins the door prize. Ha ha, there you go. That's a good idea, isn't it? That's a good idea for myself because I'm going to tell the girls that they should give that a go. Now, because it's grey, let's have a look at this one. Okay, we've got a little bit of um, pink pirouette here. <gasps> look at that, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think I love this one the most because I can colour it in. <gasps> that is really cool. Okay, I really like this. So there you go. That's what happens when you play around. If you don't get it first time, you're going to get it the fifth time for sure. And you can just play around with your colouring in. And, um, yeah, definitely look at doing the um, smoky slate and adding a bit of colour. Just a hint. I wouldn't colour everything in, but I certainly think that if you're going to do anything, you could add. I'll bring that up close so you can see it. Mm, oh, there you go. Look at that. It is so pretty. It is oh, why don't you have another dot? Okay, there it is. <laughs> I knew I put three dots on there. Okay, you put diamantes even and look lovelier, just as lovely, I should say. Duh, it's not going to stick, so just ignore that. Um, yes, I think that that is uh, that's about it from me, people, because I'm going to go on and I'm going to colour in a little bit more because I just love the whole concept of this colouring in. <gasps> It's so nice. Look at that. And only very faintly would you use the colouring in concept because it, you don't have to do all of it. So it's like a kind of like a tint. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, what other colours have I got? Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can do this here. It's a little bit of a purple, hinty kind of colour over the, the lace. Oh, that's lovely. Really nice. Mm. Well, people, I suppose that's it for me. I'm not sure. I definitely like the pink and the green. Just the pink and the green. I think that's nicer. If you're going to do all that, it does the all the um, purple. It does look a little bit heavy, I suppose. But certainly the pink down here. Oh, hang on. Uh, here we go. There we go. It does look pretty, doesn't it, when you do that? So maybe that's an idea for you. Anyway, please do give it a shot. Thanks for stop shot. Thanks for stopping by, and I will hopefully be back with another tutorial that is interesting, original, and something that you will thoroughly enjoy. Thanks again, and don't forget to visit my blog at stampityourself.com, and I will have all the instructions up on the website very soon. Thanks for joining me, and uh, it is Friday here in Sydney, Australia, so have a great weekend. Thank you.